everybody and welcome back to Day Shoot the Freddy's 2 and today well last time we um we killed Dave in a suit we sealed the room and our retire and our contract has been retired and so pretty much well I accidentally skipped something but hey today today should today's the final episode of this ending that is there is going to be more episodes, trust me. The, se the series is not going to end. I might make multiple playlists of the same game, but that's only for these early games I'm doing as of now, because as my, I, well, like when I get a better computer, I will come back to these old series, because there are going to be some parts that, that are not going to be doable due to how, how laggy it is. And also just lag in general, it just sucks. So when I get a better computer, I will come back to these games and, um, yeah, um, it, you know, I, I'll just, you'll just see better quality, you, you'll just, you'll just have better quality of everything. Probably even a better, a better microphone, I don't know, this microphone's pretty good as is, but like, it could be better. Anyways, but yeah, today we're just gonna continue. And yeah, let's see what happens. Let's see how the story ends. Note that this ending wouldn't really be uh, actually there. There are multiple versions that would be canic. That would be canon ending. So let's just check this one out. And no, this is our initial ending. So I have played the Truth of Freddy's three. You can't choose what ending you saw from like in this game, but like whatever. Oh. Can you hear me? I don't know if you can hear me. It's me. <gasps> I'm sorry that we had to stuff you. It's just how things are around here. You know... Many of us weren't always robots. Some of us were once children, but I'm sure you already knew that. This diner is a hive of sin and corruption, and it's spreading to other children's restaurants too. Many children have lost their lives here. That spring bonnie suit over there has a dead child in it. You're like them now. Dead. Your soul has left your body. Now, you're an empty shell. A husk. But, I need something from you. We're robots. We can kill William and Henry. But, it isn't enough. Killing those two murderers won't free the children's souls. The souls are misguided. Revenge can't free them. Revenge will just lead to more innocent people dying, like you did. What those souls need is the party they never got to have, their happiest day. A large yellow bear robot can't organize our birthday party. We need a human, an adult who's willing to help us. If you wish to help us, I can give you life again. I can make your corpse live again. It won't be easy, and it won't be pretty. It can, I can make your body live again, but I can't ever put your soul back into your body. You'll have to put on pounds of makeup every single morning so people won't be able to see your scars or your rotting skin. Your body will begin to rot and you'll no longer resemble a person anymore. People won't consider you as a human either. You'll be one of us. But don't stop. Don't ever stop. 
they must see their happiest day. You're the only person capable of saving them. Get as many different jobs as you can. Change your name constantly. Never stop moving. Never stop coming back. You must always come back. Do good. Show the children kindness and give them the party they never got to have. Once I give you life, you won't be able to stop until you free everyone who's waiting to be freed. Can you do this for us? I need you to promise that you'll save everyone. Please. Make the world brand new. I p er ah me I promise. Thank you. Good luck, Night Guard. Rise. Oh. Is that us? Oh god. I think that's us. It looks orange. I No, don't look at me like that. No. No. Okay, that was a very interesting start to the episode. Okay, let's save here just in case the recording fails, so. Yeah, yeah, I'm always doing that just in case the recording fails. Hey, Duggle. And look, we got our exotic butters. Well, this is still desolate. At least you got your free company gift basket, eh? Boy, those butters sure look exotic, don't they? Each and every stick is extremely exotic, yes. It's very late. It's time for you to get some shut eye, I reckon. Time to set your alarm. Good boy. Good night, Jack. You you are at a crossroads now. Fungi gave you the opportunity to return to Freddy's tomorrow. As a guest, it is your choice whether or not you will attend the party tomorrow. You must, if you wish for the children to see their happiest day. Now, it is, it's time to make your choice. Will you go? I will. Good choice. Sweet dreams, Jack. Please don't give me a copy. If YouTube gives me a copyright for that small slower version of that then I am gonna be angry there we go it ended oh my god hopefully it isn't copyrighted anymore well not anymore but like it isn't gonna be copyrighted in from YouTube anyways good morning Jack up and at him it's time to see go see Mr. Cawthon there's a party today and you've been invited You arrived at Freddy's hours later. It is now 2 p.m. Time to see Scott. Jack, you made it. I'm so glad to see you again. How are you doing on this fine winter afternoon? I'm alright. How are you? Oh, I am holding up alright. Today's been busy enough, you know? First day we've had free of Dave, heh. <laughs> uh, uh, but hey, today, you're my guest. Why don't we go and have some fun, eh? Sure, Mr. Coffin, lead the way. Uh, oh, there's no need to be formal, Jack. Call me Scott. Can... Can I call you Peter? Oh, wait. I... 
I like that, Jack. For some strange reason. That makes me feel more like myself. Come on. Let's go have some fun. After you, Jack. Shadow Duggo. <laughs> I'm sure y'all saw that. Several hours of fun later. Oh, wait. <laughs> so then, I said to him, Keep the pencil topper. I'm never gonna need that dolphin semen back anyway. Lord, your job's an interesting one. Uh, uh. Oh, you know, it has its moments, but it can get a little tedious, you know? Uh, uh. I've been thinking, Jack. Now that you finish your shift here at Freddy's, where are you gonna go now? I'll probably get a job at another Freddy location. What? Did... Uh, uh, uh. what? You're just gonna go get a job at another Freddy's location? So, uh, I swear, Jack, I'll never understand that. You're finally free after a year of slavery, and you just come back willingly? Uh, the other locations aren't any better, you know. They're just like this one. Uh, sure, the uh, robots may uh, be a little different in every joint, but no matter what, you'll see death, uh, dead night guards, dead children. You'll see the same excuses each and every time. More managers. Who are all just like me. Uh, you know. For the first time, there's nothing forcing you to come back to Freddy's. Why don't you just run and never come back? I would. I don't have anywhere else to go. Uh, uh, oh, uh, Jack. These things happen sometimes. I'm so sorry. I sometimes forget that you're so lonely. Um, uh, you, know? you know? I can see it in your eyes. Even when you're in a suit. I can see it. There's something about the way that you stand. Um, uh, when you stand by yourself, you look like the loneliest creature on Earth. So, anyway, uh, I've been thinking about the conversation we had. The one we had a few nights ago, when you were rigging Dave's suit. Uh, I shared a weird memory with you. Do you remember? About a guy, about the guy named Peter getting spring trapped in that rat suit? Um, uh, well, uh, since that talk of ours, tons of other strange memories have been flooding into my head. All of them from this weird Peter guy's perspective. Uh, it's weird, but they seem more real than some of my memories here at Freddy's. And they all take place in the 1970s, or before. Uh, you know. I've been remembering all sorts of things. Peter's surname is Kennedy. He had a wife named Caroline, and a son too, who's probably around 50, 15 by now. Uh, For some uh, reason, I can remember the little things too. Peter's favorite food, his dog's name, even where he lived. He lived up in Colorado, just outside of Denver. I I think I'm done changing the pot of gold at the end of at the end of a fake rainbow. Um, uh, when my shift ends, know. I'm going home to Peter's house. It just feels right. You know? So I uh, What the heck was that? Baby's back, baby. Um, uh, oh. Oh no. Uh oh. Me. I don't know if you can hear his dialogue or not. I might want to tone up. I turned on the music volume because of how loud it was compared to my voice, but I might want to. I might want to turn up the other, the other bits of volume. Okay. What's wrong, old sport? You look like you seen as him. Is something the matter, old face? Uh. No. I. Uh. Hey, Dave. I've been looking for you. Everywhere? Oh, is that so? You should sure try checking behind the three false walls you built around my doorway. If I didn't know better, I'd swear that you were trying to get rid of me. Oh, sport, you're a cocksucker. What? I'll deal with you later. Only, I've been waiting for this for a long time. I call his little party trick the bite of 87. Uh oh. Not so fast. Huh? Who the f. <gasps> it is I. The real Fred Bear. <gasps> well, look who it is. Fred.
Bad Bear. It's been a while, hasn't it? Don't Fred Bear me, Afton. Fred Bear. Don't call me that in front of old sport. You have a lot of crimes to answer for. Name one. Theft, child murder, child exploitation, identity fraud and tip fraud, to name a few. Name another one. You held up a convenience store and then shot a man. Damn. You good. Best I in. What? You ain't invincible. Dave Trap emerged. I'm here to stop you, Afton. We've already destroyed Henry, and we're here for you too. You're right, and here. Bring it on, bad brain. I will tear your ears off, you green, murderous, sacrifice rabbit man. Tip, stay alive. Okay. This is gonna be another point where that I'm talking about that would be, be that will be better once I get a better computer because um yeah that's laggy as hell like I could barely select what I need to do <laughs> oh you take some damage ah <sighs> you said to save lives so heal take this use control oh I'd like to show spring locks. Thank. Uh, it's a thank. <laughs> what? Why did I play a smack sound? Oh, fuck. Oh, he said, "Hold on a minute." <laughs> Oi, heal. <laughs> Good thing we can heal more than we take. That was nothing. Sort of punch. <laughs> I demand the flesh and burn. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Slush of versions. <laughs> Wait, I think we got that ending. The bad. Yeah, 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 yeah. We did get the bad ending. Cease and desist all murderous activities after. Washington once said, "On your British Compton." Oh. <laughs> I've had enough, Afton. Fred Bear has learned how to do the bite of eighty-seven. Oh. Bites. Oh god, that's a lot of damage. The real Fred Bear was victorious. See you in Bear. Any last word after Yeah, just one. Facts. Facts. I like how it's 5 p.m. Oh, hello, bear. Man. From the bottom of my bear heart, I would like to thank you for never forgetting your promise to me. But there isn't much time. You need to go now. You have the happiest day to catch. Go, Jack. I'll... I'll be fine. I'm leaving here today, and I don't plan to come back. I'm going to go... I'm going to visit Peter's house. 
It feels like the only right thing for me to do now. Goodbye, Orange Man. Goodbye, Fredbear. Thanks for giving me life. Mm, we got it. We get in on more lore. And I like the lore of this game. Oh. We're we're moving on our own. I'm not moving. Looks like a bedrock. Jack. I didn't think that you'd make it. Full of action. That was happening at Freddy's. I wouldn't have missed this for the world. We're so glad. Please come with me. It's time for their happiest day. We wouldn't want you for you to miss it. I'm ready. Thanks for not forgetting about me. Let's go. We can't keep them all waiting. The crowd is beginning to grow restless. Forget you? You're the reason I'm here. I know, bro. You're a good guy. Follow me. The way the head extends is weird. Yeah, I... Well, he may not have had the chance to say it to you. Deep down, you get the feeling that Fredbear is immensely proud of you. Wait, can, we can interact with some of these? No, you can't. Oi. Th thank you. Thank you. Okay, I never saw that text before. I didn't think you could interact with that poster. Well, we're moving on out again. Thank you all for your patience. We've been waiting for this day for many years. Today, a vast evil has been purged from this world. William Afton, our immortal nemesis, has met his timely and final demise. And I can see all the children down there. No more people have to die. Today is truly a momentous day. Freddy's has been crippled, and the brand has been destroyed. In the coming years, the final locations will be boarded up and closed down. A haven of death has been destroyed. No more children will die. I can hang up my mask and leave this realm. My work here is done. But that isn't all. There's a reason why we're all here. We're all here today because of one person, and one person only. And he's standing on a stage next to me. Some of you may remember seeing his face before. Some of you may not. But I guarantee you, you all have. This is Jack, everyone. A very dear friend of mine who never forgot about me. Jack made a promise to free every damn one of us. And he wouldn't give up. He couldn't give up. He came back time and time again. He always does. He changed his appearance. He changed his name. He never stopped coming back. Every one of us owes our afterlife to the man on his stage. And a company of murderers, thieves, and... Henry. When a man's shown above the vest. You see, we're all just children. who have been forced to take our roles. We're not robotic foxes or spink like bears. We never were. We're just kids. We couldn't organize this on our own. We needed an adult. We needed someone who could prevent all the wrongs that were keeping us bound to Freddy's. And Jack pressed on. Soulless. He fixed everything that was wrong with Freddy's. He fixed all of us. Even if he couldn't fix himself. He's more broken than anyone else here. And yet, he stands. He's just like us. Like Thank you, Jack. I can hear cheers. I don't know if y'all can or not. There's just one last thing we need, Jack. The only you can give us. That's you're not only an adult, but also a company insider. Please, do the honors. On behalf of Fazbender Entertainment, We're sorry. 
We're sorry that we were the reason. That none of you got to grow up. That none of you got to return home. And that your parents never got to find out what you all became. And I'm so sorry that I had a part in all of this. For that, we're sincerely sorry. Oh. You're better than all of them, bunch of them put together. It's more. She won't ever forget you, Jack. It's time for us to go.